Abdwood Ahmed Mitchell is the National Deputy Executive Director of the Council on American Islamic Relations. He says views among the American public regarding the occupation of Palestine by Israel have changed dramatically over the last decade. All of the candidates have taken a position on what's happening in Gaza. The two leading presidential candidates, Mr. Trump and uh, Vice President Harris, have both indicated that they support the Israeli government and its right to self-defense and that they uh, believe uh, that that war should in some way or another uh, continue. Uh, the third party candidates have indicated uh, that they oppose the war, they support a ceasefire, and also they support an arms embargo on the Israeli uh, government. Uh, and so the American people obviously have to decide what they want to do about these candidates. Gaza will not be the only issue being discussed in this election. There are many other issues that are on the minds of the American people. But it does appear that the issue of Gaza could have an impact in some key swing, sta swing states because of young voters, Muslim voters, Arab voters, and others who are concerned about Gaza and the positions that some of the candidates have taken on this issue. If you look at the American public, their views about the Israeli occupation of Palestine have changed dramatically over the past decade. Uh, you know, 20 years ago, uh, the American people were overwhelmingly in support of the Israeli government. They knew very little about Palestinian suffering. That's very different now. Young people overwhelmingly sympathize with the Palestinian people because they've learned about it themselves without the filter of the mainstream media. And even people in the uh, middle age range are also more sympathetic to the Palestinian people. So we have seen a generational change uh, in our country as a result of uh, people being activists uh, and standing up for other causes, having social media that direct access to what's happening, and seeing the horrific war crimes the Israeli government has committed from 2014 to 2021 to obviously the ongoing genocide. So things are changing in America, and I expect it will cause a change in American policy. Not right now, but I can imagine 10 years from now, as young people grow up to be the leaders of the, of the future, I think we will see a change in American foreign policy.